Jessica Portazio backstage here at Rio de Janeiro UFC 212 with now featherweight champion of the world, Max Holloway. Max, congratulations on your victory. Thank you, thank you, man. It was, uh, it was a blessing, man. And um, I, I'm just looking forward to having acai with powder milk and cashew nuts inside of it tomorrow. Damn, I'm gonna miss you, Brazil. I love you, fans. Thank you guys for having me. And um, thank you again, man. I just, it's blessed, you know, like I said before, Aldo was a goat, man. He was a goat and he had a reign and I wanted everything and I wanted everything that he had, you know, and I went, came here and did it. Nobody wanted to fight him in real. Everybody's like, this crowd and blah, blah, blah. I felt the crowd out there. I love the energy, you know? You gotta live in the moment. This is how diamonds is made and stuff. They're made under pressure, you know? And I told you guys before, in December, Star was born. I was just gonna brighten my light a little bit and uh, I think I got the job done, you know? But, you know, hats off to, uh, to uh, Aldo. He's a goat, man, you know? And it's nothing but love for the guy. And, uh, you know, hopefully he work his way back up and we can run it back, you know? But other than that, uh, UFC Hawaii. I know your beautiful face when I go to Hawaii and, and soak the sun. It's a little bit different there. The sun is a little bit different there. I know his beautiful face behind the camera wants to go to Hawaii, so uh, let's do it. All right, let's talk a little bit about the fight. Was it at all like you expected it to be? Uh, yeah. You know, I know he's going to be a tough uh, cup challenger. You know, he's a GOAT. But I really thought he's going to be a little bit faster, you know. So the first one kind of threw me off because I was seeing everything. I was like, God. Not that fast, so it's kind of offing my timing a little bit. I was like, man, I thought he was going to be way faster. I expected a lot. And, uh, you know, I just had to get my timing. Once I started doing my thing, dropping my hands, playing, I felt like me again, you know. And like I said, I had five rounds. You know, this wasn't three rounds. I didn't have to rush through it. I had five rounds. I could take my time, took my time. Shot landed. Like I said, I'm blessed, man. Blessed era. Welcome. With open hands. And uh, come on in, man. The, the train. We got a bunch of seats. And uh, come sit down and get ready for a long ride. Okay. Um... You had great moments on the first two rounds, um, but you also seemed hurt a little bit in two rounds. Um, what was the mentality going to the third? Ah, uh, you know, it was, I was whatever, he landed some shots, you know? This is fighting. This is fighting. You're not gonna go to a singing singing school thinks think so you're gonna go and wrestle, you know? It's, I know I was getting myself into it, you know? I know he hit hard and, and stuff, and he landed some great shots, and but I was always in the fight, you know? I was always in the fight, I was focused, I was tuned in. I was tuned in, you know, I was, I was having fun, you know, living in the moment. You guys saw me during fight week, you know, you guys saw me at the open workouts. I, this is my life. I knew what I stand, I, I knew what I signed up for. I knew all the sacrifice and everything. I wasn't going to let those little things, it's bumps in the road, you know, everybody thinks success is straight up. It's like this, it's up and down, you know, and, uh, you know, I had a little rough patches, but at the end of the day, I got the job done. And you've been saying that you were the king coming to take his kingdom. Yeah. What was the overall experience here fighting in Brazil? I know you know, they might have booed you first and they oh. were applauding you later. Oh. How was it? Oh, I loved it, you know? Yeah, they was booing me, you know? But that's his countryman, and I knew that. But they, after the fight, did you hear them cheering? They was, they was silent for a little bit and, and whatever, but after I was coming out, they was all cheering. They're, they're fight fans. They're fight fans. I respect that, you know? You come to Hawaii, the same thing's gonna happen. They're gonna be booing the out of you, but after, it's, it's a fight. They're gonna respect you, and I had to earn their respect. I don't ever want to be given respect. I want to earn your respect, and I think I earned it here in Brazil. All right, and now what is the next step of Max Holloway, the featherweight champion of the world? You know, I'm gonna sit down, relax. Like I said, I'm gonna go get my acai <laughs> with uh, powder milk and cashew nuts, and uh, I want to talk to Dana White. Dana White told me this is big game. This is like big game hunting. Bring in the big names, you get the big paychecks. You know, I got a head for him. I want to cash in now. Well, congratulations on thank your you. win, champion, thank you. and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.